Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you're able to see there, the US 30 reverse course there late in the night after breaking through potential resistance at 17.075, getting pushed below 69.69. Uh, and uh, is on its way now, looking towards the next potential support at 16.738. Um, technicals are not really showing too many signals right now. You do have the uh, MACD crossing the zero line right now, uh, which will be adding a little bit of technical pressure to this just now. Uh, but certainly that candle there, uh, slightly negative, um, showing obviously the selling pressure, pushing it into negative territory uh, late in that, in that session. And that will be adding a little bit of weakness Right, the rest of the eurozone as well. So looking at the UK 100, uh, we're already unfortunately reversed quite far down. Uh, following uh, the US example, not quite the same negative candle, but still a failure to break through 65.81. Uh, we're currently bouncing around about 65.19. Uh, break of that would open up 64.63. Uh, where the technicals, the slow stochastic slightly oversold right now, but no signal to uh, to revert back and buy. Um, so again, from a technical perspective, not looking so strong right now. Um, moving on to the Japan 225, uh, again a negative um, session. Um, we have seen some interest moves in dollar yen. Uh, potential resistance here at 15,987, looking to be still prevalent. Also hitting that 21 period SMA. On the wrong side of 15,828, we do have the 20, 55 period SMA right there just now as well. A break of that would open up 15,488. So there is certainly a little bit of pressure on there to be aware of. So then moving on to um, US dollar Japanese yen. Um, a failure again to break through 110. Uh, dollar index near a four year high, um, but it has been higher, obviously. Uh, we seem to be hugging and bouncing off that 21 period SMA. Very vol a lot of volatility so far already in today's session. So we have been much higher, been pushed right back down again. Uh, and the technicals are, uh, well, obviously we have the signals to, to, to sell on the technicals, well, probably back there on Wednesday, the 1st of October. So a little bit of pressure on here as the Bank of Japan is about to come out with um, more clarity to their monetary policy uh, and to try and figure out what they're going to do because obviously they want to have a weaker yen to be competitive but they don't want it to be too weak so maybe 110 spot 77 is going to be quite a strong resistance level so moving on to Crudeau West Texas uh, again pressure remains we've been talking about this for the uh, last couple of sessions um, in between two ranges right now 91 spot 28 is potential resistance potential support at $89 uh, and you do have crude oil inventories due tomorrow as well uh, and it's still all about lowering demand, blah, blah, blah. And um, from a technical perspective, this is this is still feeling a bit of the pain. The US dollar has come off a little bit, which is not really helping crude uh, maintain any positive momentum, unfortunately. Uh, so there is still a lot of technical pressure on here. Gold had a pretty decent day yesterday, bouncing out quite close to potential support at 1180. Uh, probably one of the strongest updates it's had in a while, but we're still probably capped by that 1218 level. Uh, technicals, we have had a buy signal on the RSI and the slow stochastic as well. And we probably had a crossover there on the MACD, uh, but we are perhaps uh, and now sideways moving market are get kind of getting there right now after we had this staunch sell off. Be interesting to see if we do begin to see a range develop between 1218 and 1180. Um, but there's still a lot of pressure from a fundamental perspective. US rates and US dollar, uh, that story's not going to go away. So moving on to uh, your dollar, big rebound yesterday as the, as the dollar began to lose momentum. Again, a failure to break through potential resistance, one spot 2661. And this will be the strategic level that many traders are looking at. We're still probably looking at uh, longer term potential support at one spot 20. Um, 47. That's miles away right now. So this is the battleground right here, and this is the core level to be aware of. And obviously, uh, buy signal on the RSI not yet come through the slow, slow stochastic. We have it across over in the MACD, um, but we haven't bro broken above 126.61 yet. So th these are the primaries. These are the secondary re reasons for entering any trade. Um, there's still all to play for for you, a dollar. Fundamentals, I still think, are going to be stacked against this FX pair. Finishing up with GBP USD. Obviously, a big rebound again yesterday. Um, that's kind of more so probably a little bit of profit taking rather than you know, the dollar is not going to roll over all of a sudden. Um, so that's why we're beginning to see a lot of volatility right here. No clear uh, support or resistance levels uh, holding GBP USD back. So there could be a little bit of uh, further momentum to get up to one spot 62, 65 before that dollar strength begins to kick back in. But um, the fact that we've got kind of a doji formation on there already is indicative of the market's not quite sure where it's going to take this next. In regards to economic data, not really a huge amount due out today. Fast forward on to tomorrow, again, not a lot tomorrow. Uh, go on to, sorry, on, on to Wednesday. Uh, we're gonna go back on to Thursday, jobless claims. 
and obviously you've got that UK um, interest rate announcement, that won't change but job is claimed on Thursday is probably going to be uh, a lot more uh, in focus. Uh, make sure you make the chart form part of your layout going forward and make insights um, part of your screen. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. <laughs>